one out, it'll be fine. Once I get one out, it'll be fine. I'm nervous, y'all, I'm nervous. Hello, I'm Eric. I make videos about traveling, about eating yummy food, and about things here in Cuenca, Ecuador. Last year, Sandy and I came here for the first time and we completely fell in love with the city. What the hell, Bobby? What the hell? Hello! Hello, I'm Eric. I make videos about traveling, about eating yummy food, and about things here in Cuenca, Ecuador. Last year, Sandy and I came here for the first time and we completely fell in love with the city. The people were extremely friendly. The food was amazing. We both really enjoyed the spring-like weather and the whole atmosphere was just exactly what we've been searching for. So, we decided to move here. In today's video, we're just gonna show you around the city a little bit and give you our first impressions since we were here a year ago. We're also gonna show you some of the amazing street art that they have here in Cuenca. And we're also gonna get an amazing lunch for only $9. Yup, both of us. Things are really good here in Cuenca. Okay, so let's go. Another beautiful morning yep. in Cuenca. Ooh, watch out for the barky barky. Oh yeah, doggy doggy. Here he comes. <laughs> Every day we walk past Every this dog. <laughs> bueno. I tell you what, I would not want to mess with him though, because he sounds like he'd bite your ankle off in a heartbeat. So it's been like a year almost to the day since we've been here and uh you can definitely tell the pandemic's over there's a lot more tourists here um but there's also a lot of new street art um and we're excited to show you guys a bunch of it the street art here in cuenca is absolutely beautiful um and we definitely want to showcase a lot of that uh, and yeah we're just going to walk around show some uh, street art and just go check out el centro and just show you guys around see what's been happening since we've been here so this is new. This wasn't here last year. Super pretty. I love the, uh, the deer and the, so this is a, probably their Andean deer they have. That's gonna be the artist up there, I'm sure, up on the right. Um, the, uh, what is that, a jaguar they have? I think they have jaguars, is it jaguars or? Yeah, they have jaguar here in the Amazon, so that's probably jaguar, parrot, obviously, but, yeah, super cool, Style. right? I know, it's amazing. Of talent. Definitely. This guy was here last year. With the hat. Right. I don't remember the purple and green thing. The big pretty building over here is the high school. Um, we talked about it in our video last year, but um, man, it's just so gorgeous. We got to talk about it again, right? It's like the, what is that, French colonial style or something? It was uh, the first university in Cuenca, actually, we found out. And now it's a high school. Last year, you know, school was out because of COVID, but now the school's back in. We've seen a bunch of kids uh, out playing. Yeah, the band. You know, everybody was getting on the bus like they had a field trip or something. They've had a high school soccer game over at the uh, stadium. We're staying right beside. So it's really nice to see everything just kind of getting back to normal and, you know, everybody out and about enjoying the city. Buenos tardes. <laughs> well, right now we're on Calle Larga. It's like one of the 
longest, busiest main streets here in Cuenca. Uh, a lot of shops kind of on the end we're headed down right now going towards uh, Mercado 10 de Augusto. And then a lot of the restaurants and things like that are back the other direction. I actually found a fantastic tailor uh, right here. And did we walk past him already? We did, he's closed up. Uh, this guy over here is amazing. And the prices were unbelievable. I got uh, sleeves shortened on one of my sport coats that it was taken in on the sides. Uh, another one just taken in on the sides. And it cost me $23 for both of them. So that's our bank over there that we use. We love them, they're super good. Really cool people, but no, Jep's been very good to us and we would definitely recommend if you get a bank account here, Jep. So now we're walking up to San Francisco Plaza. It's where the little iconic uh, Cuenca sign is. This is San Francisco Church right here though, and it's beautiful. Uh, it's actually Sunday, so church is in session right now. Let's see if I can sneak a little peek inside. Every cathedral or church that we've gone to in Cuenca and in Georgia when we went there last year too, man, they are so amazingly beautiful, so ornately decorated. Man, you have to visit all the churches and cathedrals when you come to Cuenca for sure. Well, this is San Francisco Plaza. A lot of shopping over here. We got, looks like we got a tour group going on. We won't really get in the middle of them. But yeah, usually you come through here during the week and all these vendors will be open with all kind of different uh, you know, shirts and jackets, a lot of ponchos, uh, things that are made locally in Ecuador, blankets. So let's go over here real quick and get a uh, shot of the Cuenca sign. I don't know where Sandy ran off to, but it's all good. But yeah, absolutely one of the main things that we've noticed um, between this year and last year when we were here is that tourism is back. Uh, you a lot more gringos, a lot more uh, tourists, uh, you know, non-Ecuadorian people checking things out. Uh, we've seen a lot more groups. There is the beautiful Cuenca sign and of course the cathedral. but let's take a look at some of this stuff. We've noticed that these over here tend to have just a little bit better stuff. So really pretty to look at. Sandy got a really warm jacket last year and basically has worn it everywhere. Hola. But all of these things are made here locally in Ecuador and they're all really well made and extremely beautiful. Buenos tardes. Oh, there's Sandy, I found her. I think it's kind of funny that here in Ecuador, all of the mannequins have extremely big booties and extremely big uh, perky nipples. Don't ask me why. So, I need to get something to drink. 
Well, let's get something. I was talking about how extremely shapely all of their mannequins are here. <laughs> So this is the world famous uh, flower market here. We come here. Now we've been here at least once a week now to get some flowers and haven't spent more than like five dollars. Man, wish they had smell o vision because it's unbelievable. Look how pretty these are. Buenas tardes. See Dr. Octavio over there? Oh yeah. They have different vendors and things set up here around the cathedral this weekend. Not sure, really sure what the occasion is, but a lot of beautiful things. Jewelry, baked goods. You'll see everyone. He's got a trade here. They know how to. They know how to do things here, man. There's another. Ah. <laughs> You'll always find something interesting going on around the cathedral. Well, lost Sandy again, but I'll find her. That is uh, the Equity, Ecuadorian style of singing, this gentleman, and uh, Fernando told me that it was like, you know, it's from their broken hearts, and it's always real sad and sentimental. Gotcha. Yeah. There's always a musician somewhere around a cathedral, and, and they're always pretty good. Okay, we're going. Yep, Georgia. That's our code for just go. When you're walking across the street, when you're in the country of Georgia, you just you just go and they cars kind of just work with you. We haven't had a problem here yet, but I'm hoping not to get ran over. We're at Calderon Park now, and uh, this year they're doing some renovating, it looks like. Uh, so you can't really get into the main park, but you know, this area is still really pretty. No recuerdos, ya no hay tanto para dar Y descubro nuevamente que mi vida no es igual Porque dejé de amar Descubro con tristeza que ha cambiado mi pensar Y que soy un...
we're going to walk around to the back of the cathedral now and uh you can actually get better pictures and better video if you walk around to the back side of it basically straight behind calderon park uh if you could just you know jump over the cathedral you get a lot better view of the domes and things back there and it's always a lot less crowded back there also Besides going into the courtyard that we've made some pictures of, this is probably the best place to get a good view of the domes and the church itself. And that just goes all the way through that street, that little mm -hmm. courtyard? Just to the front of the church. Okay, cool. You walk so. by like the walkway to go up to the domes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking yeah. about now. And there's like the... Cool. Like, you can get to some restaurants from there or... All right, so when you're on the road back here where the cathedral's at, there's also this little gate right here that'll take you straight through. This is where the steps are to go up to the uh, top of the dome. So we're gonna walk through here real quick just to kind of show you guys what that's all about. It's absolutely gorgeous. So they have a nice little restaurant over here. A lot of people like to come back here and take pictures. Looks like we have something going on. Oh, some kind of performance or something maybe. Nah, this, well, I've seen this chick, she's doing like an act. I'm not sure what this, well, it is probably some kind of tour, but they do all kind of tours and things that are going on this year. More restaurants and things like that, but yeah. It's nice and cool back here in the shade. And this is the entrance where you go up to the top of the domes at. If you're facing it from Calderon Park, it's just on the right. So yeah, first impressions since last year. There's a lot more people here. That's the Pope store. I'm assuming because it's Sunday and a lot of things are still happening with church, uh, a lot of things are still closed. Uh, so we're gonna go grab some lunch. Where are we going? Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember what it's called. Okay, it's gonna be great. And I don't even know if it's open. Okay, it's still gonna be great. something that's really good. Mm. So how's the rice and the zucchini? The rice is really good. It's really flavorful. That ahi has a good kick to it. Ooh. Mm. And the zucchini? The zucchini boat is Super flavorful, like just everything. You can taste every spice, every, yeah, I like it, it's does, good. Does it have like a marinara sauce or almost like a tomato base? It's sort of like a thick marinara sauce. 
in it. <laughs> yeah, right on. Yeah. So I want to get into this salad because it looks really good. It is. I love whatever all these little microgreens. Yeah, the, I get microgreens and mm -hmm. tomatoes and radishes. It looks like they got some uh, uh, romaine lettuce, uh, cucumber. Let's get in here. Carrots, shredded carrots. Let's see what this is all about. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, really good. I like the dressing. Mm-hmm. Real light. Yeah, it's real like acidic and bright. It's really good. Mm. Check out this rice. You already said it was cooked perfectly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's basically like a kind of like a rice pilaf. It's got a great blend of flavors. Um, yeah, super good. But here's the main thing with the dish is this zucchini boat. So I'm a huge fan of zucchini boats. We used to make them a lot. So let's get in here. It looks like it's got some kind of marinara sauce in it maybe. Yeah, definitely like a marinara. Mm. Yeah, almost kind of sweet, but very savory, a little salty. I like it. Super good. Yeah, everything's delicious. But you gotta get this amahi. Both Sandy and I really like spice and or picante, you know, like a little heat on our food. So you said this one's kinda spicy? It's got a good kick. Yeah, yeah right on. Alright, let's check it out. Oh yeah. 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 It's spicy, but it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Not overpowering. Yeah, no. Awesome. Yeah. Good choice, babe. Mm -hmm. I like Thanks. it. Oh, and dessert. And dessert. Yay. <laughs> and we got our little dessert with the almuerzo as well. Looks like bananas and strawberries, some grapes. Uh, granola, yeah. No, blueberries, blueberries, yeah. A whole bunch of good stuff. Does it have some kind of? Does it have like honey or something on it? I don't think that's honey. Algavi or something no. maybe. It's got a rich, smoky flavor. Really? Mm, it's really good. Wow. I don't know what it is. It is different. I don't know what that is. Mm. Mm, it's like vanilla, or no, it's. It's almost like a maple. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, it's totally like some kind of maple syrup or something maybe. It's good. All right, well lunch at Komar Sanar Vivar, I think if I'm saying that right was awesome it was really good you know completely vegan so i know sandy's super happy right so get two thumbs up and if you guys are over here and you're looking for some good vegan food you should check them out they're awesome really good <laughs> tastes cute he's a cute little he's a cute little puppy we used to have two little pugs Okay, so that's it. Uh, we hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please help us out by subscribing to the channel. We're working really hard to get to that first thousand subscribers and wonderful people like you can help us out. And wonderful people like you can help us out by smashing that subscribe button uh giving the video a like if you enjoyed it and we really enjoy talking with the people that uh, watch our videos so leave us a comment and we will see you in the next one
All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. No voy a negarte, no. La primera vez que tú me lo hiciste, baby, quería matarme. Pero ahora no. El problema fue amarte. Sabiendo que no sientes nada y no sabes querer, no sabes querer.